Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India continue the discussion on pulse jet engine. Now, we have started looking at the uh, hero thermodynamical analysis of different engines. So, we started with pulse jet and then we will move to ramjet and scramjet uh, before moving into the engines like turbojet or turbofan where you have the rotating component. Uh, so, the biggest difference between this uh, pulse jet, ramjet or scramjet engines with the other uh, section of turbojet or turbofan is that whether it is a non rotating part existence of the non rotating part or the uh, rotating part. And the one which we are now discussing like the pulse jet or uh, ram jet they do not have any rotating components like compressor turbine. So, that is the advantage. So, it is a geometrical configuration which does the compression uh, with along with the uh, diffusion. So, that the proper uh, flow rate can get into the um, combustor. So, this is what we stopped the for the pulse jet. Now, the one which we go of looking at the pulse uh, detonation engine and we have uh, since uh, the different uh, approach of the pulse detonation engines. So, this um, makes a new approach towards non-continuous combustion they are also very easy to manufacture that is obvious and uh, uh, also having higher fuel efficiency uh, compared to turbofan engines or something like that. Now, so actually to date no practical PD engine has been put into the production but several test bed engines have been built by Pratt and Whitney General Electric that have been proven the basic concept. Extensive work which has been carried out or being carried out in different NASA center, but theoretically it can produce an engine with the efficiency for surpassing the gas turbine with almost no moving parts. Probably this is an uh, futuristic engine what could be used. Uh, now, the difference between regular jet engine where the regular jet engines uh, the operate on a uh, deflagration of the fuel, deflagration of fuel that is uh, rapid but relatively gentle subsonic combustion. But in pulse detonation engine, it is concept of active development to create engine which operates on the detonation of fuel. Uh, detonation of fuel. So, it is based on the uh, detonation mode. So, now, so this is what the uh, nature of a pulse detonation engine which one can uh, look at it. So, when we are talking about uh, like um, this uh, pulse engine so, this portion is not there. So, this is a typical nature which is also possible for pulse dissonance engine and now this can be classified into pure stand alone which is uh, stand alone which could be combined cycle and hybrid turbo machinery cycle. Okay. So, the pure one which could be based on the pure uh, detonation tube and the other ones are the combines one. So, which can be now one can look at how this process can go on like we have a chamber, let us say this is what 
and this is a closed valve condition let us say closed valve and this is the detonation front this is reactants this is open end then uh, in the second phase you could have where the products here and this is the situation where you have this is B Taylor wave this is again detonation front and you will have detonation speed. Now then you could have like the front going this side this is the first reflected characteristic then you can have which is going like this so non simple region which is non simple region and then so this could be product or here interface now then you can go to completely like this where this is brand product then you can now have like this is product this is shock wave now this is open valve here coming in so this is the ear and product interface or again it could go like this where this is the thing so this is this is reactant this is ear reactants ear interface this is uh, ear product interface and this could be product ear interface and these are the shock waves and all this so and other cycle pattern could be like this when you have this is air this is reactants so these are reactants air interface this is air product interface interface and or so this is again closed valve this is completely reactants this is again a reactant air interface so you can see different sequence so unlike like the pulse jet com uh, unlike the pulse jet combustion in pd is supersonic effectively an explosion instead of burning and shock wave of the combustion front inside the fuel serves the purpose of shatters the valve pulse jet. This is also can be looked at that. Now the other one is that we said pure uh, PD engine. So that is array of detonation tubes and nozzles. So pure PD this has uh, array of detonation tubes and nozzle. So, the application primarily is in military application because they are light and easy to manufacture and have higher performance around Mach 1 than current engines. So, another thing is that when you go to that range basically the noise and there is a drop in efficiency at higher Mach number that is why 
when you increase the Mach number this is not very often desired solution for the higher Mach number application. Now the combined cycle PD is provide the most exciting possibilities for an aviation. Adding a PD to a flow path of ramjet or scramjet would make the engine capable of operating between Mark 5 or higher or you could have hybrid PD which uh, use the detonation, detonative combustion in place of constant pressure combustion usually combination with turbo machinery. So, this could be also again two types, there are different could be hybrid turbofan PD or it could be the one thing one can look at it is that when you go by the Mach number, let us say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is ISP or specific impulse let us say 1000, 2000. Uh, 3000, 4000, 5000, then this goes like this, these are for the ramjet for different fuels. Now, at the same time your PD engine will be like this. this is for H 2, this is with J P 10, then uh, this is H 2, this is J P 10 like that. So, this is how now in hybrid turbofan P D that we will have a look at that uh, while we are talking about the turbofan engine and with this kind of discussion. Now, we will uh, move to ramjet. So, that is the, so it is a another type of engine which was first proposed in 1930 by 13. So, so it may be either subsonic or it could be uh, supersonic, but one of the biggest problem is that with the ramjet, the thing is that the in the ramjet it depends on the compression of the incoming air through its geometric modifications. So, it cannot, uh, cannot develop static thrust that is one of the issue with this. The vehicle must first therefore, cannot uh, from the standing it cannot start. So, it has to be accelerated by other means so to reach a sufficiently high speed and then the ramjet could be in operation. But the although the ramjet can operate at subsonic flight speed the increasing pressure rise uh, accompanying higher flight speed render the ramjet most suitable for supersonic or most efficient at speed around Mach 3 or so. So, the it has some let us say advantage and some disadvantages let us look at it able to attain high speeds that is around Mach 5 no moving parts, no moving parts, so less wear and tear as well as minimum losses, reduced weight plus smaller engine size then you have lighter and simpler than turbine based engines 
you have higher temperature can be employed. So, these are some of the notable advantages, but obviously every advantage come with some sort of a disadvantage. So, at low speed poor performance so that is one so it needs booster to accelerate the speed needs booster to accelerate the speeds where ramjet starts to produce thrust then higher fuel consumption then maximum operating altitude is also limited is also limited then uh, high temperature material is required so this is what it needs so these are now some of the advantage and disadvantages of ramjet then the other thing is that one can look at where the applications are one of the important application is that missiles okay so it can be used in missiles for uh, let's say it could have air to air missiles then it could be air to surface missile then uh, like um, air to air missiles it can enable medium range missiles to maintain higher average speed for example mbda meteor others are m120 amram like that gorgon 4 air to surface these are the examples like its asap uh, mosquito uh, something like that then you can have um, also you can have air to ground missile like by mirage 4 or mirage 2000 liquid fuel ramjet 2 capability range 20 kilometer then you have surface to air missile again the examples like mbda lfkng these are for us based then uh, you can have anti ship missile which are again where so these are different missiles application then you can have aircraft applications okay so variant of your ramjet is uh, coupled to other type of engine like piston or turbo jet or turbo fan to power the aircraft then uh, one could be example of which we have seen the leduc 1 or the nord 1500 griffin griffon so these are the one which are coupled with the thing and then uh, others countries like German, Japan they also have these things Soviet Union and all this. So, there are two primarily kind of application one is the missile applications where this is very handy other applications of this aircraft applications when it could be coupled with the. Now, we can look at the cycle analysis for cycle analysis 
or thermodynamical analysis we have different modules let us see the first the intake module. So, intake module looks like this is how the intake module looks like and this goes like this. So, here you have internal compression, here you have external compression where you can see there could be shock waves, oblique shock and there could be lot of cross shocks which will form here like this. So, this is an intake module is quite important in the sense uh, this does not have any uh, rotating part. So, the intake actually does the compression process for this. So, it could have different shape or it could be also having a constant or it can may be constant or variable area duct. Okay. So, so some also it has the supersonic one has some spike which allows this uh, kind of shock interaction to take place. So, what we can look at? So, now if you see this one and let us say this is a station at which is A and this is a station at somewhere at B, then the T s diagram would look like uh, the T s diagram. So, this is what I am here going there. So, like this. So, that is point A, that is point let us say B and so this is B and this is 0 A. So, this is 0 B s. Now, we have this temperature is T naught A which is T naught B. This temperature is T naught B s. Then we have this portion which is completely V a square by 2 C p, this is T a. So, that is how the T s diagram would look like. So, what one can write the isentropic efficiency is for the intake T b naught s minus T a by T naught b minus T a where T naught B by T A is T naught A by T A which is 1 plus gamma A minus 1 by 2 m A square and P naught B by P A 1 plus eta I gamma A by 2 m A square to the power gamma a by gamma a minus 1, where uh, the static temperature are T p and the total condition is all uh, with the naught. So, that is how you can look at the intel mod intake module and now 
we can see the second module is the um, combustion chamber or burner. So, uh, this we can see a sort of an diagram the combustion chamber could be a, where this is you have intake now you have eta i pi i so pi i is the pressure ratio you got input m a you got t not b you got p not b and you have t a you got p a so that is what happened in the intake now what happens in the combustion chamber now this is what is happening at the intake that means what you give input you get it now the combustion chamber let us say we have a sort of an combustion chamber like this and the geometry of um, like that so, I have this kind of things. So, let us say this is point A, this is A, this is the combustion chamber. So, this is uh, drawn in a axisymmetric fashion just to show you. So, here the T S diagram for the combustion chamber. So, this portion is the combustion chamber. So, the T S diagram would show like this A to B so so that is the delta P this is A T naught A and this is T naught B. So, there is a two point where it happens again we can use the first law of thermodynamics and continuity equation. Now, the block diagram for the combustion chamber could be like this, this is the burner let us say what comes in T naught A what goes out p naught a here m dot f and this goes out t naught b p naught b and so here a is so every time inlet b is outlet similarly for the um, intake also we have used that kind of fashions so now here the uh, and qhb let's say heating value of fuel and air mass flow rate and the eta b is burner efficiency. So, what we can write like p uh, o b equals to p naught a minus delta p b and t o b would be m dot a c p c t naught a plus m dot a eta b q h b c p h m dot a plus a. So, m dot a is the air flow rate and the c p c is uh, cold air specific heat and the c p h is the hot air specific heat. So, that is how. So, first what we are going to look at like this uh, different individual modules uh, like um, we have looked at the intake and then now looking at the burner. Similarly, we will look at the nozzle before moving into the complete uh, set of um, uh, complete engine analysis for the uh, uh, ramjet. 
So, we will look at these components like what we have done, then we move to the next one. So, just we will stop the discussion here and continue the discussion in the next class.